in the posters you have behind you, <laughs> you are me. No, 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 no don't show me. Right you yeah. are me in the movie. You'd be a good Danny Sharp. Well, uh, Ambulance is part of a rich legacy of crime movie shot in LA. What's it so special about Los Angeles that filmmakers like to shoot their crime stories? I grew up in Los Angeles. I know it very, very well. Since Transformers, I have not shot there. There hasn't been a real LA feeling movie in a very long time. Los Angeles is the height of the pandemic at that time. There was a lot of empty stuff we were able to get, stuff you couldn't normally get. Because LA's got a cool look, but a seedy look. It's got a lot of different sides to it. Almost every single cop in that movie is real. What says a Michael Bay action movie from the other action movies that I worked before? The energy, personality, he's extremely hands-on. You know, we didn't use, I don't remember very much green screen or anything like that. You know, there was so much practical, the chase scenes, the explosions, the drone shots. An expert at all times, but at the same time experimenting and looking for the best ways to tell the story. How much do you need? 231. How about one? Michael Bay is an auteur. The specificity and intensity with which he tries to capture moments. It doesn't have to be an explosion. It can be an emotional moment, mm -hmm. and he'll follow that. We were shooting these very intense scenes in a very small space in an ambulance, and he was always with us, filming, talking to us, engaging with us, pushing us. Stop! Get out! I haven't had that experience on many films I've made, particularly in an action film. And that's what sets him apart. You've been in many action movies, uh, and this is your first time working with Michael Bay. What sets a Michael Bay action movie from the other movies you worked on? Is when I did Baby Driver, I didn't see it as an action film. I felt it was like a very character-driven film. It's so funny because when you see the ultimate result, you're like, oh, this is an action film. The way that we approached this movie, even talking about it last night with Michael, we were talking about how we didn't film this movie as an action film because we as actors, right? We spent most of the time inside the ambulance. We never really saw all the explosions that you see at the end of the movie, like the finalized version. And I think that to your question, Michael Bay is just an icon for action. And no one does action the way that Michael Bay does it, no matter what. The way he shoots is very unique, very specific. Does your wife know you're up, Banks? Uh, what do you learn about the ambulance, the vehicle that you never knew, knew before? How hard it is to do that job of saving someone's life. It's such a small space with so many sharp corners and so many moving pieces and you're, it's amazing the job that an EMT does. Acting is not that hard. I can't even imagine what it's like <laughs> to have to try and save someone's life and do that job every day in that space. I'm gonna need you to help us. Why don't you help us? We're doing hostages now. You came out of there with more bumps and bruises than me because I was, you know, I did more driving. Yeah, yeah. You know, sure and you, you did a lot saying. of moving around, so I was, you know, I was saved. But once I did have to get up and move around, then I, I could definitely, you know, relate. It wasn't easy. And, and speaking of driving, uh, which of you is the better ambulance driver? Me. I did the training, and I'm willing to bet that in the last. Uh, 15 years, I've driven more U-Hauls. I have more hours behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'll give that to Yaya. Okay. I mean, I grew up in LA, and so driving is an essential part of being in that city. I like to fancy myself a good driver, but I'm gonna give the, the award to to Mr. Yaya over here. All right, I'll okay? take it. Take... Because he did do much more driving. What do you learn about the ambulance that you never knew about? I had to prep for a very, very long time. Silly things like even taking in passengers, like putting in the carriage and bringing it in and out, and how do you do it in an efficient way to use a timer? Four. Do you have EMT experience? We are trying to save you. One, two, three. So it was for me very important to have all these things right. As an audience member is when you watch things and you're like, that's not real. So I really wanted to sit down with real EMTs, real nurses, and get the lingo right. So when I finished the movie, the ambulance felt like my second home. Speaking of your special brand of action, the Bayham, and you've added a new toy this time using the drones. So what do you learn about shooting with drones? Well, I got these 19-year-old kids, and I said, listen, uh, I'm going to make you do stuff you've never been asked to do before. We're going to jump a car right now. Flies, I want you to fly right under his car. He says, what do you mean? Do I get to practice? I said, no, you don't get to practice. we got to go. we got to shoot and do it. Let's go. Ready? Go. And so this is a way to twist it, and I always like to come up with new shit. And then now you're going to see it imitated on other movies. Just mark my words, okay? Tell everyone in uh, Singapore uh, to see it, and um, they've always done great visual effects work for me um, on Transformers. Yeah.